And we're here this week with new IFBB Pro, Biki Singh, Biki winner of the Mr. Olympia Amateur in India. Uh, training right now, uh, recently in Bev France Gym, Powerhouse Gym. Yeah. Uh, everybody knows that. And uh, an invitation to Biki for the Shiru Classic Colombia. So India meets Colombia in South America. And I think you're the first IFBB Pro Classic Physique from India. Is that correct? Yes, sir. That's correct. All right. So I got all my information kicking off on the right foot. Uh, like, I work with George Farah, my coach. I've been working with him from last almost 10 years. Oh, wow. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, I never, you know, I believe in one, one source. Like, you stick to one, then only you can go ahead. Yeah. So yeah. we only we only did like three shows in the last ten years, and George always believed when the time is right, he will get it. You know. Yeah. So we waited, waited, we waited for my body to improve and work on the on the on the weak muscles and stuff, and then uh, we did, decided to do a show. Actually, we were decide uh, we were planned to do a show the the North Americans. The North Americans, and now that's yeah. opened up. That's also opened up. All the this is great. Yeah, Jim Mannion's really opened that, up that things for the international competitors. It's like four weeks after the Shadow Classic, what I did in India. Yeah. But I was ready a month before the show, so George was like, "Why not do a show now if you're ready?" Yeah. So we need a show. I can show see George saying that. <laughs> yeah, God's grace, yeah. like yeah. we did good, and it's we got. The Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So you've been. Mildly competing, we could say, mildly competing for the last yeah. 10 years. This was your fourth crack at it, right? Your fourth crack yes, at sir. it. Yeah. yeah you I've got been it. doing the amateur shows before, the, yeah. the, the, the NPCs, but this, is, this was my first big show. Okay, that's good. And uh, it feels great to get it in your own territory, well, right? Yes, exactly. Feel proud, you know. <laughs> now, the, the Olympia Amateur has been going on for a while in India. How many years has that been going on? I think from 16, 2016, 16, 17, 18. But I wasn't ready. I was I was off, like, you know, I was having fun with family. Uh, that yeah. was important. Yeah, but uh, eventually, like, uh, we decided, my coach was like, let's do a show now. Because I never you? ask my coach like, I want. I never tell him like I want to do this. Yeah. Only my coach tell me, Biki, now you do this, now you do that. I just follow, you know. Right, right. You let him I be the pilot, and you're the. I believe in that. I'm a big believer in my coach, like the source that's helping me out. You know, yeah. I do everything on on point. Like if you tell me. Like, Biki, in this meal, you eat 170 gram chicken, it will be 170. It won't be 169, 171, no. 170, 170. Right, right. How old are you, Biki? Um, I just turned 30. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, you're just getting started. Absolutely. So yes, you've, been, <laughs> you've been competing since 20 years old. All right. All right. Yeah, now, I, was, I was 19 when I did my first uh, teen show in uh, Metropolitan. The Let's Metropolitan see. area, yeah. Yeah, I did Metropolitan, Steve, then yeah. I did uh, Eastern USA, I did Atlantic, I won all three in my category, my teenage. So after that, I was like, I need to step up my game, I need a coach. So then that's when I met George through mm -hmm. Sherut. Uh, right. Sherut gave me the contact, he's like, George is the best coach to go with. So he gave me his number, I called George, I'm like... Why, why did you choose the Shiru Classic in South America to make your pro debut? I mean, you could have done it anywhere in Europe or the Middle East, right? Or Asia? Yeah, I, I just want to know, like, where I stand with the pros. So I'm, 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 I'm more into, like, uh, I want to improve my body, you know? If I'm improving every show, that means I'm winning. So I just want to improve, improve, improve. I just wanted to know, like, where I stand. Like how I look. Mix like it up with the Western world. On. So then, you know, yeah. like people do a warm-up show, then they do a show. It's, right. it's kind of... And I did the prep in six weeks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's the thing about this particular event. It has a lot of hype behind it because it's one of the biggest expos in the world now. It's the biggest mm -hmm. in South America now. Uh -huh. It's got a huge Olympia amateur poll. 
And that's been like the fifth, this will be the fifth year of the Olympiama. And then the Shiru Classic, this is the third year that the Shiru Classic is in Colombia, and they just added classic physique. So you have a very big mix of not just Latin athletes, but people from coming in from all over the world. I mean, you know, some pretty big names have gone through there so uh, this far. And it's a good place to make a name for yourself, right? Just stand up to some people that obviously are more advanced in their career, but you might be on the other side next to someone who's just getting their feet wet as well. So it's a good, I call it a good mixer. Exactly. Shadu, Shadu Classic is growing, bro. Shadu Classic is like, yeah. by, uh, in November, 200,000 people showed up in Mumbai. 200,000 people. <clears throat> that was my next question. How is, you know, I, I, I see it on social media that the bodybuilding is really growing in India, but to hear it from you, I mean, that is incredible. Like, all the film industry, India India has the, like the biggest film industry in the yeah. world. Trust me, they have like, they have 15, 20 movies every week they release, like, they, <laughs> they have the biggest movies. Very competitive, huh? Yeah, and now Bollywood is getting involved in fitness. Even like we have the biggest biggest uh, game like cricket in India. Like everyone is like they want to like follow cricketers. In cricketers, they they getting involved in bodybuilding and fitness thing. So fitness is growing very. Cricket with muscles. Yeah, you guys are going through the Jose Canseco, Mark McGuire. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> but cricket like, this time, in, yeah. India is a growing industry. Like right now, people are interested in building their physique, getting healthy and Capri stuff. Capri Sun, yeah. yeah. A lot of gyms over there, man. If you go there in a city, like in, in a hood, in a neighborhood, you will yeah. find like 15, 20 gyms like in a street. That's excellent. That's yeah. excellent. Yeah, you know, Colombia is growing like that. Brazil has been growing it. Latin America is catching up a little bit. Um... And then the thing is, like, we, have, we have the population, <laughs> 1.3 billion. Yeah, it's a lot of people. 1.3 billion, man. Imagine about 100 that. people. Even if you get like, even if you get like half of them interested in fitness. Right. Yeah. That's, that's a lot half of social a billion. media accounts. A lot of hungry people looking for a boost on their social media. Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. Um. So you see the Western world in. Uh, the Eastern world kind of uniting now because I, I, you know, before really it opened up with Jim Mannion, I just felt like if you were from Europe, you did the Europe thing. If you're from Asia, you did the Asian thing. If you're from South America, you did the South America. If you're from Mexico and the Caribbean, you did that. North America was different. It was so mm. segmented, hyper segmented. Now I just feel like it's coming together. It's all under one roof now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's better. Like thing. now, people now like which show to do, and like how you gonna go to the Olympics. Because my goal is to compete in the Olympia. Everyone like who's working out, who's doing hard work, who's dieting. His main goal is to go to the Olympia and compete. Right. In India, like they were doing before Shadow Classic, before the uh, IFBB or NPC in India. I have seen guys, they were only doing like the, the, the shows, the local shows, the regional shows, and they were going nowhere. They yeah. were just doing the road to Miss nowhere. India. Yeah. Next year, they're winning Miss India again, then again, the same thing yeah. again and again. But you stuck in like a box. But now, like Jim Mannion, Tyler, they, they did a really big thing, man. Absolutely. Like, they I, have, I try to explain have, this to they, they give chance to everyone <clears throat> to work hard, try their luck. And show people what they got, and come to the Olympia if you have uh, genetics and if you have the hard work, the ethics, uh, consistency. You can you can make it big. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. And there's so many more tier one shows coming out. I think the Shiru Classic is going to start leaving his his own legacy in a couple of years. You know, I'm not yep. uh, doubting any of the other f successful franchises that exist. Uh, and more power to them internationally, but the world needs more uh, franchises, more big name shows, tier one shows internationally, and I, I think the Shuru Classic is to be taken very seriously. Uh, yes, in yeah. India, like it's, uh, it's it's the only show in India. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, we're lucky. We're lucky. The game. The platform. 
we were lucky like we like she gave us the platform to you know compete in our own country because in india we had to travel outside and it's so much expensive to go to buy the air ticket then get the hotel and some people they don't know the language it's the language barrier and everything yeah. but now we have the we have the show in our country like we don't have to travel that much the currency is same and we know like how much we have to spend and this and then we can create a budget and you know do a show in our own country only rather than going to you know maybe fly to europe or maybe fly to america to do a show the ticket only from india to the the ticket cost like 200 2000 bucks yeah then plus the hotel and the food and yeah. everything it comes up to like so much money yeah so, let me ask you something a little bit about the the local diet um obviously food you know is different out there obviously you know the indian cuisine and stuff like that what do you what do you do i mean for your mat do you eat any uh animal based proteins uh what kind of carbs do you guys eat out there for uh, macro I do, carbs? I, I usually my 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 food is almost the same, but like some things like in India I don't live in a city. If I go there I live in at my village, and my village like doesn't have everything. But the best thing is I get the organic eggs. Organic so eggs. Cage free egg. Cage free. Where the yolk is like dark dark yellow. It's almost orange. Yeah. You know the the best the best eggs. I have the organic chicken. I get organic uh, goat meat, which is as good as the uh, as good as like beef or any any other red meat. Yeah. And things that are not available are like salmon is not available over there, codfish not available, asparagus or broccoli like they are available but in the cities. But where I live, nah. I only eat chicken and white fish and eggs and that's it. White fish. And, yeah. And I think like if you get if you get everything organic if you're getting everything absolutely. healthy yeah. you can work your way around Yeah absolutely I was in Spain and they didn't have that many organic shops I go why I figured it out most of their food isn't really is already natural It's already yeah, like, organic yeah, The thing yeah, in the western yeah, world where everything is preservatives or any kind of stuff yeah. it's, it's all fresh Yeah it's, everything is fresh you cut the chicken and it's it's right there it's like you, they cut it in front of you right. it's, it's that fresh the fat from the chicken here is like pale it's whitish the skin on the chicken in india like where i live like if i get the chicken the skin is the fat is dark dark yellow mm-hmm. like the yellow color yellow color so natural if if goat meat or any red meat is available i just cook the whole chicken the same thing why not eat a chicken yeah It's like the blues and for the carbs uh, four five and for the, four five and for the carbs we have we eat roti it's it's a indian bread it's called roti it's only wheat no yeast no no baking soda no nothing it's just plain bread only one ingredient wheat and that's it uh-huh. less the ingredient better the food is everyone know that yeah you put more ingredients it's complicated it's bad for the stomach and stuff you live and longer Yeah, you live longer, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And we have sweet potato, organic sweet potatoes, potatoes. Oh, that's the best. And we have the best rice, basmati rice. Yeah. Basmati rice, the GI index is lower than the than the brown rice. Excellent. Well, that that's making me hungry, my friend. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about uh, popular machinery now out there. Obviously, the gym scene is new. Uh, you said you live in a village. I mean, how do you do you work out? How do you work out? Are there are gyms out there or there are gyms out there, but they don't have like every single machinery. So I stick to the compound movements like squats the and basics. more of squats. Yeah, the the basics. Yeah. You know, I do more of squats, more of bench press, yeah. more of like deadlifts rather than doing on the machine and do the machine work. And it it actually helped me build more muscle. old school i stick to old school rules my coach is old school you know we we stick to the old school rules and George i think George is going to argue with that absolutely hey yeah. my gym is is almost the size of the bathrooms that the, the gyms in new york city it's not that big it's not that big but i know what i need to do i i, I work my way around yeah. if i need to do bicep i just do it on the big barbell rather than rather than the barbell that fixed weight I just put plates in the same thing it's a little bit more work but it tells you like how badly you want to do it right right 
What's your, yeah. si- how, uh, what's your city called? Where do you come from? Where do you hail from? I'm from Punjab. It's a state. Punjab. Yeah, Punjab is a state. And we have really good gyms in Punjab, like in the cities. But I'd rather, I'd rather stay in a village. You know, it's, I, I like to live in a box. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm not like a, I'm not like kind of person like who's more on Instagram, who's like active right. everywhere. I'm an athlete. My job is to eat and to train. Sleep, eat, train. And that's what I do. Okay. Well, it's easy to disconnect more where you're at than some of these uh, more integrated cities where you have so many more distractions. I mean, like, that's the in, whole... In my village, like where I live, I, we don't have a treadmill. I go out and walk. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I nice scenery. Out, and I take walk in the fresh air, like fields. Like, I breathe fresh air and I feel really healthy. Rather than, you know, doing cardio in, in a gym with, a, with a air conditioning. That's uh, disgusting because you're, you're breathing other people's farts and BO. And <laughs> I think gyms true. are disgusting, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I do yeah. the weights, but if I want to do cardio, I... I, I try to wake up yeah. before the sun. Yeah. And I try to do my cardio, like, in the fields, you know, fresh air. Yeah. You feel healthy. In and out, you right. feel healthy. You, you you take a walk. It's it's mostly also a mental thing. Bodybuilding is not about like physical. You have to be like mentally prepared with everything. Absolutely, absolutely. That's very interesting. It gives a uh, perspective, a lot of perspective yeah. to to different competitors. What they need to do to really disconnect because there are so many distractions out there. Uh, yeah, it gives don't you allow more time a lot to of athletes the nature to as focus. well. You, 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 you take a morning walk, you see birds, you know, birds flying for the food, they to collect food, it's the time to go out and, you know, yes. the feel the fresh air, you, you, you connect to the nature. And it's really healthy for the body. It's like you're healing your body. I think if you do more, if you're more connected to nature, your body will heal faster. Interesting. Interesting perspective. Very interesting perspective. I mean, it's not the first time I've heard that, uh, but I definitely can see how, you know, it, doesn't India have like the oldest living people, like the record for oldest living people? Uh, I don't have no idea. But I mean, I, I, now, now I know like India has the most diabetic people in India. Everyone like eat sweets and stuff. They, they all into sugar and stuff. They, that's they, worldwide. That's epidemic. I mean, Kuwait. Uh, Mexico, Kuwait, I mean, unfortunately, that's an epidemic worldwide, my friend. Yeah, sugar's yeah, but, killing us. Yeah, my coach, my, my coach, George Ferrer, like, he's trying to aware people, like, how bad sweet is, how bad sugar is. Yes. Even, he, he told me, like, even fresh juice, like, the fresh juice, mm-hmm. where we got, is 22% cancer. You know, the fresh juice, like we get, is 22, it can cause 22% cancer because... Yeah, well, I mean, you know... It's sugar. It's no fiber in it. You take the fiber, so you're only drinking sugar. Yeah, I mean, well, there's so many uh, products now. Obviously, we all know this. We read up about it all the time, but all the products have secretly had some sort of sweetener or sugar in it. Yeah, sucralose, they have the artificial sugar. Yeah. That's no good for the body. Yeah. Yeah. They don't. They don't. I think. I think stevia is still good for the body if you take like one or two sometimes because it's it's alkaline to the body. Other things are like acidic to the body. Exactly, exactly. Well, that's a holistic type of uh, mind state mentality. You know, back with nature, focusing mm-hmm. in and disconnecting from the internet and distractions like social media, particularly the drama, politics. Um, cleaner diet. I don't yeah. want to say organic, just real food, right? Real food. Real food. Yeah. You know, like you said, I mean, maybe some people be offended. That's tough luck for them because I know my ancestors from all over the world and your ancestors, you killed it right there. You eat it. It's part of nature. Yeah. You know, yep. I think that's good though, too, because you respect the animal more because you understand that sacrifice. So... Um, you don't eat for taste, you eat for the purpose. Right. I think if you're eating for taste, everything is bad. That's my perspective. Yeah, self-indulgence. Yeah. If, even if you're eating, you know, if, even if you're eating sugar or maybe anything for taste is bad. Anything yeah. for purpose is good. 
Absolutely. Be it meat or be it vegetable or some grains or anything. Has to be for a purpose. Eat for purpose. Absolutely. Yeah. Eat for purpose. Um, last couple of questions. Mm -hmm. Who's inspired you this whole time? Besides George, I know he can be a great inspiration. He's a great coach. But who else has inspired you maybe locally in India or internationally to, to keep this dream of yours alive? And I know obviously getting the pro card is like a great achievement for you. Because uh, you're the first IFBB Pro Classic Physique. I mean, I have how many millions of people in your country? For, if, if you talk about like, a, like uh, an, any athlete who inspired me. Sure, anybody be, in particular. It will be, be, be Dorian Yates. A bodybuilder. It will be Dorian Yates. Yeah. He, he used to live in a box. Dorian Yates. Like, no, that's why they call him Shadow. Yeah. He just show up and, <clears throat> you know, amaze everyone. Yeah. He work in a box. He eat, he train, he sleep, he work, he train. People only used to see him during the Olympia and that's it. The whole year he's working. And that's what I try to do. You know, I, li I live in my village. No one knows where I live. The connection, the network is so poor, it's hard to connect with people. That's why Sharu was telling me, it's like, catch this guy before he gets back on an airplane, man. It's hard to get a hold of. You won't see him again for a while. Now I understand. Yeah, and obviously Sheru, like Sheru, I have learned so much from him, like uh -huh. how to grow as a person, as a businessman, as a, as a family man, like how to take everything together and, you know, go ahead. It's, all, it's, it's a lot of things like I learn from everyone. I try to learn from everyone. My, my goal is in life to keep on learning. Until I die, I will keep on learning. If I think I know everything, then I know nothing, my friend. If you know you know everything, then, then the desire dies to, to learn more. I keep on learning. I learn from everyone, even from a, 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 kid, a baby. I learn how to be how to be nice to everyone. A baby don't know like how to play politics, you know. Yeah, yeah. I learn from babies. I learn from. I try to learn from everywhere. That's my goal. Like keep on learning. Keep on learning. That's a great piece of advice, my friend. Be key. Any special uh, shout-outs or thanks besides, I know you said the Sharu and George Farah. Yeah, but... We're coming to Colombia, man. We're going to make it big in Colombia. Okay. And hopefully more and more athletes will come from India and, you know, connect to the Colombian people and compete there. I think it's, it's almost, even the culture is almost the same. The Colombian culture is mostly related to Indian culture. Like we... Uh, like food wise and you know people stay happy and this and that stuff it's not about like work 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 nah, Colombia is a lot like of work, what work, we call work, work, work. fiesta a lot of yeah. fiesta <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, party, eating Colombia. drinking you know? <laughs> yeah a lot of, a lot of good times in people Colombia. people don't stress it's it's less stress in these countries in India and yeah. you know in Colombia here is like you wake up you don't have time to for, a time for breakfast I go to city I see people they're walking and eating yeah, they don't have to, they don't have time to sit and have a good meal. Why you work for? You work for a food and a good time, right? You work so you can have food. If you're working and you don't have time for your family and you don't have time to eat a good meal, no, it's all about balance. What's the point? It's all about balance. You got to enjoy what you do, yeah. you know, and it's about balance. And it's, you got to disconnect. Yeah. Absolutely. Where can uh, people follow you? What's your IG account? What's your YouTube account? How? What is your social media? Yeah, I'm I'm starting my YouTube channel very soon uh, before the before New Year. But my IG account is ifbb slash Vicky Singh thirty at uh, Instagram. Okay. I'll, I, yeah, I'll text you maybe post it after the video. You know, I get more more Colombian followers. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we're looking for. And then it was my dream to come to Colombia. Colombia, man. I, Shiru, like he showed me photos and you know the videos. I, I was so amazed, like the artwork he showed me on the street. I want to come there, man. It's it's like it's a lot of energy. I tell you what, um, it, I it see yeah, the vibe. It I like the vibe. The, yeah, the vibe yeah. is so so attractive. I want to come there. <coughs> yeah, well, you have fun. Uh, a lot of good-looking people. A lot of good-looking women. Um, <laughs> I'm married, man. I yeah. have a big girl. <laughs> no, but, you know, just good-looking people in general. Everything is a little more preppy, fashion, yeah. friend. Uh, Medellin's a beautiful city. A lot of friendly people, right? Friendly people, very friendly yeah. people. 
have a lot of fun, a lot of smiles. Um, and we're looking forward to having you out there in Columbia, the first IFBB Pro Classic Physique. Yes, sir. In the true pleasure. classic my Columbia. Pleasure. That's God Beaky <laughs> Singh. Look for him. We're going to be live on ndlatino.com with the broadcast live streaming, the Shiru Classic, February 16th. I know it sounds like a while away, but we're really not that far away. We're like 90 days uh, out. So. Problem, my friend. It's, 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 it's close now. It's a couple of months. That's right. All right, brother. Well, you're going to teach me a little bit about your, your language today. So you can 100%. Tell me, uh, yeah, man. How do I say never surrender in your language? Never? Never surrender. Never surrender. We, uh, in my language, I'll, I'll improvise a little bit. It's like, it's like Fateh. It means win. Fateh means men. Win. Like win. Like Fateh. All right. Fateh. Yeah. That's easy. I we, thought it was going to be better. Yeah. yeah Fateh. Be like Fateh. Fate. All right. Yeah. Fateh, my friend. Thank you.